Taylor. We are in Columbia, Tennessee here at our home tonight for our Sunday Night Live. Thank you for joining us. We were whew, pretty close to not being able to do it. Um, we've had snowmageddon here for, is this the third? This is the third snowstorm, right? Um, no. Yeah. Is it the third? It's the third snow, but this is like the second big like snowmageddon for Middle Tennessee. <laughs> like we have like tons of snow, those big, big flakes that are like huge when they come down and it's all sticking <coughs> and then it was raining and so Bill was shoveling and he was on his back fixing the dryer and all kinds of making chili. So um, it was close call tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but while he was doing all that, I was crafting. So that's how it works in this family. Well, Bill was breaking his back. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to do a fun project tonight. So, as always, say hello when you come on. Sprinkle us around. Um, and we are going to tell you about our sale. We are getting some questions. I just sent out an email, so hopefully you're on our email list on our website. If you're not, you can go there. I think Bill pinned the site. Don't go there now. They'll go there after. You can go on there and hit subscribe, and then you'll get all our emails. And then I also put a post on Facebook about our Would You Bend Posh Chalk Stencils, Paste, Pigments, Patinas, Rice Papers, and Hocus Pocus Transfers. This is as low as we're going to go now, 50% off, so we still have some left. Um, there's a fairly good selection, actually. Um, but yeah, so 50% off. That's like wholesale prices for you guys. So if you're wanting to get any of those products, and they're all great pop products, um, it's not for lack of quality or that we don't like the products that we're not going to be carrying them anymore. Um, we just need to make some room in our store and we're going to bring in some other things and we want you to uh, get these at great <clears throat> prices. Making some changes. Making some changes. All good. And also free shipping for over $100 for your order. So load up the cart, guys. Get some free shipping. All right. So anybody watching the games today? I don't know if anyone's into football, but we are from Florida for the most part. So we're kind of rooting for the Bucks a little bit, but then we got the Titans who are, uh, got their bye week this week. So we're, we're kind of happy. Both our teams are uh, in the playoffs. Fortunately, they're in different leagues. So NFC, can, AFC. Can they play each other in the Super Bowl? Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Bucks <clears throat> versus the Titans in the Super Bowl. I think that'd be cool. Okay. Anybody want to say hello to or I didn't. Out? I'm not wearing my glasses, oh, so it's know. hard to, <laughs> to <laughs> see. Have our glasses on. <laughs> okay, well, mine broke, so that's my yeah. excuse. Okay. Um, do you want to run and get yours? Or? I probably should. Okay. I will um, make small talk while you... Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst ourselves. Okay. So tonight we're going to do... I know we did a little bit of decoupage. I'll hold them up here if you need to show them. <laughs> We did a little bit of decoupage last week. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different this week. You guys have seen like the old book. Um, actually, it doesn't have to be an old book, but the um, the book makeovers that folks do. So it's like a little little book stack. You can get them at the dollar store and like take the covers off and then redo them or paint them. Um, put little sayings on the side and tie them up with a little uh, ribbon. And they're super adorable. So we are going to do that tonight. But we are going to be doing them with wood books that Bill made. And, of course, in, in only Bill fashion, I asked him, can you just cut me, like, some locks of wood? They don't have to be anything fancy because I'm just going to do stuff to them anyway. And, you know, it's going to be a book stack. So, here's what I get. It's got the binder, the groove, the pages. <laughs> so, they're, like, legit books. Um, which they were gorgeous. But he made it very hard on me when it comes to decoupage. <laughs> so we'll work around that and uh, see what we can do. I like detail. I, I see that. So uh, we are going to do a little decoupage with some card um, scrapbooking paper, which it's a little um, little thinner than cardstock, I think. It, I, I like to decoupage with it a little bit e uh, better. It's just it's super easy to do. Um, and I got these really cute pads at Hobby Lobby for half off, of course. And they're real vintagey, and they're kind of um, kind of remind me of like a Valentine's Day. Some of the colors, so I thought it would be a good good timing. 
So we'll do that, and then... Susie Smith's watching. Hi, Susie. Susie. We... Happy belated birthday. I know, we said happy birth birthday to you last Sunday, but you weren't on our video. So happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to do a little stamping with embossing, and then we're going to use some embossing powder on there, too. So hopefully we can get to all of that tonight. I didn't do the bottom of the book, because I'm not sure. The, it might be a stack that kind of goes together. And in that case, you don't really have to do the bottom. But uh, we'll see. I did want you to see one um, finish, though. Deb Thompson, I guess this was when I was getting my glasses. She says we were frozen. Oh. Are we still frozen? Hope not. Hope not. We, we're, we're kind of frozen. We're in the frozen tundra right now, that's for sure. Susie sees us. She says, thank you and miss you guys. Miss you too, honey. Okay. Well, I was going to do the same paper, but as I got flipping through this book... <laughs> like, I want to do that one. I want to do that one. I want to do that one. So I picked two different ones for the binder and for the um, covers because I thought those kind of went well together. So we can kind of do the same thing. Um, but if it's going to be a stack, I kind of want to make them somewhat consistent. At least the colors. Yeah, so that's one. Where's the one that's Matching. Or... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good one. That's nice. Let's see what else we got. Mm. That's a good one too. I like the cornish on that one. So let's, let's take that one out. Oh, that's kind of in the same color too. Yep, yep. All right. Kinda. Maybe we do the binders. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, that would be good for the binder. You kind of have to have one that's not real patterny. If Amber. you're going to have one that is patterned. Amber saying hi. Hey, Amber. And she's saying hi to both of us. Of course. All right, so I think I'm going to do that side. We'll do this side. All right, so let's do, um, I don't know. What do we want? A or B? A or B? A? What are we at, the optometrist? <laughs> I don't know. Which one's better? I don't know. They're both the same. A? <laughs> they both look the same to me. Or B? Well, we have two books, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Ashley Osborne says A. A. A it is. A. A. Okay. So the first thing we want to do, and I didn't paint the bottom or, or the base of this. You can paint underneath your decoupage white to make your paper a little bit brighter. These are actually going to get kind of sanded and distressed anyway, so I kind of wanted a faded, worn look. The paper already has that look, so there was really no need for me to... Um, to paint one, which is good because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that, and uh, I don't really want to paint it anyway. So, all right, so we're gonna put that over there. I love you, honey. It was Bill's birthday yesterday on his uh, Facebook account that he could never access before wishing happy birthday. I'm like, honey, everyone's saying happy birthday to you, and you don't see it. Okay, so we gotta get the bicycle in there, huh? We should, anyway. Yeah, at least part of it. Yeah. Okay, so let's kind of put it there. Let's flip it over. Nikki Brock saying happy birthday to me. Nikki, you are right there in Tsunami Land? What's going on? Tsunami Land? Yeah. Was it Australia? Did they have a tsunami? I thought there was that, wasn't there? I'm pretty sure most of this country is probably fine. California got some waves. It was like a four-foot tsunami. I don't know what hit Australia, though. Oh. <clears throat> so, and we'll cut it down a little bit more. So maybe like... As right. long as the dingoes are okay. There. Uh, All right, Nikki Brock says, Tsunami in my town was downgraded and canceled in Queensland. Well, thank goodness for that. Yeah. Told you. Yep. Told me what? It was canceled. She had a tsunami. It was canceled. <laughs> Somebody went and canceled the, the, the tsunami. Alright, we don't want to <clears throat> You know what? Tsunami's not good for us. Can we uh can we cancel that? <laughs> okay. And she says the dingoes What does that say? Will will save the babies. The dingoes will save the babies. I don't get it. It's come, it comes from a, a movie. Oh. 
Crocodile Dundee? No. Only Australian no. movie that everybody knows. <coughs> Alright, we're using Mod... A dingo took my baby. Mod Podge. I've been practicing since last, last week saying it. So I'm not saying Mod Podge. <laughs> so you can use whatever. Clear coat. I don't know. Susie what? Smith had... The last 36 hours they've had high winds. And she says, now I need a new roof. <clears throat> Shingles were everywhere. Stop it. No. Used to she see shingles in the hospital all the time. I had shingles. That was not fun. You didn't even have a bad case. I know. I know. Thank God. Because that can be brutal. All right. So we're being generous with our Mod Pod. We're making sure we get our edges real good. Mod Pod. Mod. Did I do it? I said Mod. <laughs> I don't care. All right. Where's Wasn't that Homer Simpson's wife? Where's the point here? Okay, that's Marge. All right, oh. so we're going to put it on. Let's get that blob of glue out of there. <clears throat> and you can wiggle it a little bit when you get it on there, but... So what'd you do? You cut that a little bit oversized? Yeah, because I'm going to sand off the edge. So I'd rather have it a little over than too short. And we're going to just press down. You don't really need to use saran wrap for this part with this kind of paper. Like if you were using a napkin or tissue paper... Saran wrap is nice because it helps not tear it. I just kind of like to use it anyway. <clears throat> we want to make sure we get those edges really good. This I guess paper. Amber Amber lost a wall to her porch. Oh no! Yeah, it's I mean it's crazy weather. Now apparently she has a racquetball court. Not funny, Nikki Bill. Nikki Brock says, "Is that scrapbooking paper?" It is. I'll show you the. Uh, the book in a minute. It's got the most gorgeous papers in it. Hobby Lobby, half off. <clears throat> well, every third week or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so, if your item isn't on sale one week, just wait a week. Oh no, Amber lost the entire porch. Oh god. That's good. So Probably went a little heavy there, but that's all right. And we're just going to smooth it out. So we did Mod Podge on the bottom, Mod Podge on the top. Mod Podge first, spread it out with the saran wrap. Yep. Then another coat of Mod Podge on top. Yep. And you cut it, you over, over cut it, right? Yep. The, yep, just by a little bit. Because once it all dries, we're going to um, sand it off. I'm not going to use some saran wrap on the top now, too. So Ashley Osborne is asking, so can I use scrapbooking paper on furniture for decoupage? Yeah. Sure can. And Amber says dad is going to help her fix the porch. Good. As all dads should. Good dad. Good dad. So this is, um, this is the book. It's called Kirby Teasdale Studio. And it's just got really cool vintage ones. It's really nice. So what do those cost, normal price? The, this one's 20 but sometimes they're more. And sometimes they're a little less. But they run right around 20 so when you get them half off, um, they're 10 bucks. Let's see. We got this one, too. Yeah, see, this one was $21.99. So a little bit more, that's the paper studio. And those are always, these are a half off like a lot. Paper studio makes the um, mats that you can use for the Cricut too and all the utensils and, and things like that. So, okay, um, let's put that aside. Let's do, let's do one more on this one. So how long does that have to dry? I, I used a lot of Mod Podge. Um, the, this one I heated up. This one probably took <coughs> 15 minutes or so. And that's but I, that's I drying. It, that's I drying it, it with the, the heat gun. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Like that. Susie says, I might move to Columbia or Spring Hill. <laughs> Maybe live in Bill's shop. It ain't bad out there. It's, it, Mice like it. Yeah, there's no, um, there's no facilities. That's true. <clears throat> I 
And Amber likes my wood books. Oh, they're gorgeous. Everything Bill does is gorgeous. Yeah, there's, joke there there's a joke there. <laughs> <laughs> Amber wants to be in the shop, too. <laughs> as long as you guys don't mind sanding, you're always welcome. <clears throat> yeah, what's the next wood project you guys want? It's hard for us to get out there and do the lives. We just don't. We have to figure out the signal. The signal thing is terrible. Nikki Brock says, Bill's going to be my next husband if Pam freezes in Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not hope for that. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. <laughs> I know where I stand in this. Uh... I don't know if I want to go to Australia, though. Oh, you've never survived Australia. <coughs> what are you talking about? It wouldn't survive. <laughs> okay. Thin coat of Mod Podge. Stick that on. <clears throat> They've got spiders as as big as like twelve inches across. <laughs> I would never survive. <laughs> oh god! All right, little saran wrap. We're gonna rub it down. Amber just wants to play in the shop for two days. Come on down. I know when um <clears throat> when I'm not in the store. When Sharon's uh, managing the store on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I spend a lot of time out there with him. Uh, working on my projects, needing no help at all. Yeah, yeah, that, that <laughs> doesn't happen. Uh, I just realized we didn't we didn't curve over the edge there. Oh man, I can't see anything. So I'm just I'm just putting a little bit of uh, Mod Podge on here, and I'm going to curl this over the edge because it really is you know part of the cover. So we're going to do that. Holly Joe. Hey, Solly. A quick hello. <clears throat> quick hello to decoupaging lady from the UK. The Hugs and kisses. Time is it? Sheesh. She's another one. I don't think she sleeps. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, you guys are in the presence of uh, royalty with Holly Joe on. Woo -hoo. Well, she is. Um, Posh. 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 All right. So we went over the edge Stall on that. Out. Stall but out. And we need to go over the edge on this one because I forgot. P O S H. Posh. So I'm, I'm just. I know you can't see. This, <coughs> so I'm just going along the little edge here. Can you check? Like, should you check underneath the edges to make sure they're sticking or? Not right away. I mean, you don't want to keep pulling it up. But you really want to make sure you get the edges really good. It's 1 a.m. by her, and she's <laughs> just on her way to bed. All right. Sweet dreams. Yes, good night, my dear. See you, too. All right. Susie says, I could live above the shop. There's nothing above the shop. Except it's just rafters. And rafters. And rafters. <laughs> <laughs> we do get the occasional bird in there. Alright. So. And in between, um, when I'm not using, make sure you get the right edge. I just kind of wrap my brush up in saran wrap and it'll stay wet for you. Amber saying goodnight to Sally. Okie dokie. Sally, so, Sally's good people. She's a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. And we're doing our first Would You Bend video with the long trim. We were like <laughs> trying to figure it out. Yeah. We heard oh. video we're on. And, yeah. All right. Um, did I not? Come on, guys. I didn't put the top layer on. We, we, we yakking too much? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just like having fun. Okay. Yeah. That's what this is about. All right. But we're not going to have very good uh, results if we don't get that top layer on. Apparently Nikki's coming to the shop too. So is Amber. 
You guys know we have a finished basement. Yeah. With its own entrance. You just have to, you got you get drips on the other side of that. Going way down. <laughs> Bill can lay plywood. I can fix it up. <clears throat> She's a lot like you, Susie. Volunteering me for stuff. <laughs> All right. Went a little heavy on that one. I'm not going to go as heavy on this one. Does it matter how, if the paper is thicker, do you need to go heavier? Yeah, because the goal is to sandwich the paper in between the wet layers of the Mod Podge, right? So if you put your first coat on and then you put your second coat on, but it's not going through, right? It's really not going to lock in the paper. Um, if you're <coughs> using like poster paper, your best bet is to use wallpaper paste because it's really thick, it works really, really well. If you're, especially if you're like you're doing furniture or like the insides of drawers and things, you can use wallpaper paste. All right, so let's come back to this one. We're just gonna use this little heat tool here. Keep it moving. I always tell folks at our classes that the heat gun is actually designed to remove paint. So if you keep it in one place too long, you will burn and you will melt whatever it is you're actually just trying to dry. So, um... I usually gets the point across that we're serious. <laughs> it's hard though, people will start using the heat gun, but then they'll be talking to us and, yeah. and they'll stop. And we'll be like, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> I, did, I got some wrinkles up here, so I'm just kind of smashing them down. Again, it, I, vintage -y is good, I don't really care. I went really heavy on the Mod Podge there for some reason, so this one's looking good, but this one had a couple wrinkles. Not a big deal. <clears throat> So for the spine, we want to do this green, I think, right? I think that would look good on there. Sure. Okay. So do we want it... Works for me. Let's do it this way. We want to go a little big. Just on its side. And we want to go over both ends again. <clears throat> we have, um, I know a lot of you guys are not local, but if folks are on that are local, we have two classes this week. Our porch welcome sign is on Friday. So you do a five foot welcome sign. And I even have little stencils that you can put at the bottom of it. Like that say, welcome to our beautiful chaos, things like that. And we have a beginner watercolor. I think it's our watercolor on Wednesday with Michelle Helders, local artist. Extraordinaire. All right, and we want to remember we're going to get this little binder part here too. So we got to glue up there, glue up here.
Mod Podge is, is basically Elmer's glue. There's, there's they, they, the internet. They do add like varnishes to it and to like, so it has a sealer in it. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's a video, I just came across it yesterday. I didn't watch it, but it's like, make your own Mod Podge. I'm like, you can get that ginormous jar for almost nothing, so. <laughs> of course, we do have a ginormous jar of Elmer's glue because when we were pouring acrylics, you could use glue uh, to help uh, pour with your pour. So I bought a ginormous jug of Elmer's glue. And then I stopped doing that. <laughs> and now I still have a ginormous jar of El Elmer's glue. Well, we haven't heard our dogs yet, huh? <clears throat> so Nikki asks, if you're short of the Mod Podge, what else do you recommend on the scrap paper to seal other than the wallpaper paste? You can use a poly, like a, a water-based poly. Yeah. You, Your clear coats. It'll still work. You could just get a spray. A spray is. waterproof. Not waterproof, um, water-based. that up. I still don't think it's on there. I don't know why I'm getting the... Well, there's a gap there. You know what I mean? So yeah. That, that's not going to stick. Well, you don't even need it to stick there. back to this one. We'll trim it up. Like when you're doing this at your leisure and you're not making a one hour video, try not to rush the process because you will get more wrinkles. Um, it's just better for anything, um, paint or sealers, to just dry naturally and kind of do their thing. But sometimes you got to speed it up. Okay, so this one still feels a little wet. Let's see. You can stick that knife out. Lay it out a little bit more. I pushed it in so I wouldn't uh... cut completely through your finger. Yeah. Uh, so this is what happens when it's wet. You see, it just it it won't cut. It will just kind of bunch up like that. It could also be the blade too. If you need, probably need to sharp get a new blade on it. Well, you can see the wet glue. Yeah, no, I, I know. But we're gonna distress it anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, I cut a bunch of leather with that. Pull out the bottom. Yeah. Why, just because it's a razor that you're <laughs> breaking off? Oh, 
So I have a 220, somewhere, it's a 220 piece of sandpaper. 220, 230, whatever it takes. And we're just gonna go Oops. in a angle direction. Again, you don't wanna do this when this is wet because it will not, it will not tear clean. It'll get all bunchy on you and pull half of it off from where you don't want it to come off. What movie was that from? What? 220, 230, whatever it takes. Okay. Should I know? Should. I don't know. Somebody will know. Yeah, let's see if anybody else knows. Okay, this one, I don't want to take off there. I'm going to start with two. So I'm just lightly sanding the side here because I don't want to take it off, right? Because that's part of the binder. But I do want to um, give it just a little bit of the distressed look, especially if it starts coming off on you, then you just kind of have to go with the distressed look. <laughs> Catherine Hartney, you got it. Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom. Wow. <clears throat> I'm horrible like that, like knowing those kind of things. As soon as he says says Clint Eastwood. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you be any further, <laughs> Mr. Mom or Clint Eastwood? <laughs> That's all of it. 220, 230, whatever it takes. <laughs> Punk. That's funny. All right, so there is that one. And this one we're going to dry up, we'll cut, and then we'll do a little a stamp with our embossing powder, and I'll show you how to emboss. How pretty. So you can do a little brown wax around here, like if you really want to make it vintagey. Oh, the paper kind of already has that look, but we will, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, I'll paint the edges so it looks more, you know, like pages of a book and uh, we'll finish the binder. Nikki Brock says, Lawrence is asking how you made the wood blocks. They're basically just um, two by sixes that I cut to um, book size. <clears throat> then I laid them this way on the table saw and I have a dado bit which is just stacked uh, blades and I just ran this through the table saw at approximately an eighth of an inch to get that. And then to get the binder it was just um, running it through the table saw. That's it. This feels a little wet to me still, but let's see what we get. I can, I can feel, <clears throat> you know, it'll feel a little tacky. Oh, you're supposed to stop me from doing that. I forget about that edge. <laughs> oh, I'm not watching. <laughs> Somebody's supposed to stop me from rubbing off that edge. Dang it. Well, if somebody ha had noticed and said something, I would have told you because I'm just okay. watching comments and things. And I'm trying to watch the game on my phone. <laughs> Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. Who else is, is somebody else playing tonight? Yeah. That's Dallas. Is it Dallas? At four o'clock they were playing. Was it Dallas? Uh, this is really not dry yet. Nikki says, I just made a nice DIY glaze with 50-50 French linen and gator, gator hide, you I guess, gator hide? over white paint. Oh my goodness. Beautiful to wipe back for ages, aged look. Yeah. <clears throat> it would look nice as part of the your book. Yeah, probably would. Yep. You might be the only person on planet Earth that has any gator hide. <clears throat> Losing my voice a little bit again. Starting to sound more like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> right. We're 
getting there, guys. For the embossing, we have to make sure that this where we're embossing is absolutely dry. Or the powder will stick to it. Yeah, it won't stick to only the spots you want. It will stick to everything. <clears throat> Which, who knows, maybe it'd be a good look. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Half the mistakes we make are like, oh. oh man, I can't, oh, you know what? It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Cleaning up the middle here. Nikki says, I ran around town grabbing gator hide when I got wind of the shortage. <clears throat> but she doesn't hoard toilet paper in the ages of COVID. Just gator hide. All right. Okay, so we're shaping up here. Shaping up. Hey, is it is it called croc in Australia? It's called croc. Croc hide. Croc hide. Yeah, they don't have gators; they have crocs. Uh -huh. Do you guys have gator hide in Australia? Apparently, she does. Oh, that was Nikki that said she. Yeah. Was <clears throat> All right. So we'll have a little more cleanup to do. Once he's got a little more dry, but we're gonna we're gonna dry this a little more. And, and then we'll just put... show everybody. How cute is that? Yeah, those are gonna be cute when yeah. they're all kind of. Well, I guess you wouldn't see the top then. <laughs> so maybe what you want to do. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you really won't see the top when you stack them. <laughs> Maybe well, you'll always see the top one. I know, but you won't see the middle one. Yeah, you don't have to stack so them. I think I'll uh, I'll probably end up doing both sides, and then we'll just do them like individually, and maybe put some um, raffia around it, like tie a little um, ribbon around the old oak tree. Oh, look at this! I forgot. I should, I mean, you could you also put them like this. Made you a tile for coaster. A tile? I got my own coaster. You also made me a leather one. Nice. You guys need any gifts? We can make you a personalized coaster. <coughs> Where's that one? But that might look kind of pretty, you know? Yeah. Um... Raffia makes everything look pretty. What a great little gift, you know? Love it. All right. So, this is going to be dry. Alright, so to emboss, you need embossing powder. Comes in all different colors. This one's black. I don't, I only have black and white, so that's what we're going to use, black. Um, do you need to cover your Mod Podge? I mean, you were, you were very diligent before about covering <laughs> after you used it every time. All diligence went out the window. Yep. All right. Susie says the bicycle one is her favorite. Yeah, I like that one. I know, I love that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know if I have... Hand me on... In that booklet. Hand me that binder there, please. I don't know if I want to put I love you on this one, too. This one? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> didn't really have a good stamp. Where's the um You have an entire binder of stamps. I know, but a lot of them are like greeting card. Where I can't where's the one that that came off of? Here it is. How about with love? With love or just because on this one? I kind of like the just because, because it's nice and scripty. So let's use that one. Do you have one that says 220, 230, whatever it takes? <laughs> no, I don't. <clears throat> I 
I do not. All right, and when with the embossing powder, you want to make sure you have the right ink to go with it. Um, so you can get like a colored <coughs> ink and then get clear embossing powder. Or you can do what we're doing and we're going to use clear ink and then we're going to use colored powder. Okay, but you have to get the, um, the ink that's slow drying, right? If you just use like the ink that you use for your um, redesign with Prima stamps um, or your other stamping, uh, the ink dries like super fast. And by the time you put the embossing powder on it, it doesn't stick because your ink is dry. Okay, so you have to make sure you get the right ink. So this um, Versamark uh, is, is one of the, uh, when I was doing research about this, this is the one that kept coming up and was the most <coughs> recommended. So that's the one I got. Do you have one that says, you boys gonna pull them pistols or whistle Dixie? Oh no, I do not. All right, let's see if anybody knows what that movie was. All right, so with the embossing powder, let's see. you always wanna do it over a piece of paper because you're gonna dump a bunch <coughs> of powder off it's, and then you're gonna dump it all off and then you're gonna be left with all this powder that you're gonna to wanna to re-put back into your container, okay? So make sure you always do this over something that you can fold up and then um, pour back in to your, uh, your jar. It was Clint Eastwood, what movie though, Susie? There's a hair in there. All right. Two cats and three dogs. Is there? I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Up there? I know. There should be a little stamp block. Yeah, you see it? A little one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put my stamp where I want it. And let's see. So the book is going to be this way. So we want to make sure we're face up. Oriented properly. So we're going to put it there. We're going to press, our, press it on our stamp. And you don't have to use the stamp. I just find it easier. So it's not flopping all over. This is very spongy and wet, so if you press it down really hard, it's going to soak your entire stamp. I found that out the hard way. <coughs> so you don't need much. So I just press it down, and I always go overboard because you can't see it. So you're like, wait a minute, I think I just need a little bit more. Or I, I think I just missed a little spot. And then you have a ton of it. Okay, so then put it where you want it. Press down and lift up and don't move it around. Yeah, it's wherever, very important to pull straight up. Yes, because wherever you get this ink, your, your powder is going to stick to it. Okay, so then you take your powder and pour it on. I mean, I know it's heavy. And tap it off. Now, I didn't use this, but you should, because I'm still pretty new at this, but they have these little pads that you should dust on before you put your powder on. It'll just keep the surface nice and clean and static free. So that's like an anti-static pad. I guess you could use a, maybe a dryer sheet even. So we're gonna fold this up, pour it right back in. So this will last you forever because you don't use that much. All right, then you want to make sure if you have any on any uh, powder on there that you do your best to wipe it off because when we put the heat to it, right, we don't want anything but our letters being embossed. So the E is going to be a little squishy, but that's all right. So then you take your heat gun. Start your heat gun out here. Don't like put it right here and turn it on because you don't want to like blow everything away. And plus you want it to heat up before you put it on. Okay, so start it out here and you'll see it'll take a couple seconds. This will get shiny and raised and then we're going to move right across <coughs> and it's all going to pop up and get um, nice and shiny. Can you see pretty good there? I will in a second, okay. yeah. 
Okay, so we're nice and hot. We're going to hold it on here until we see it start to turn. There it goes. And we're going to move right across. Up. We've got to be careful because of our decoupage. I was having trouble getting those little dots because our, our Mod Podge is still probably not completely dry. So we were starting to lift a little bit. Because you know if you apply that direct heat on there, like with glue, right? That's how you get the sticky tags off of things to get the glue to loosen up. So basically it's the same thing. So you just got to be careful. Um, you know, you want to make sure all your Mod Podge on top and the bottom are dry. But I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's kind of raised and it's kind of glossy now. So that's what the embossing powder does. Um, I forget what they said. And it's stuck on there. Yeah, and so now it's like, it's on here. It actually turns it into, um, what did I tell you the other day? What it makes this. Kryptonite? <laughs> Maybe. I forget what it, what it, what the embossing powder actually is. I was like amazed. Iridium? Yeah. It's, uh. Solid gold. I forget. I'll have to look it up. But once you find out what embossing powder is, you're like, oh, wow, really? <laughs> so, all right. So we're finished with that one. We're almost done with that one. Very nice. And then we'll have to finish this one. But yeah, how cute are those little books? I mean, from that to that. Love it. All right, everyone go out and get yourself some two by sixes. <laughs> and, a two paper. and a two thousand dollar table saw you don't need that you don't need that everybody needs that <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining us tonight uh we'll see you next week if you're um wanting to see something particular shoot us a message if you want bill to work on something particular in the shop let us know um check out our website for those sales um like i said all the would you bend post chalk and hocus pocus stuff is half off there are select Dixie Bell rice papers and their first release of transfers are 20% um, off right now because their new ones came out and the old ones they're letting us do a sale on. <coughs> Helen Tibbetts is on. Hey, Helen. Hey. Hugs and prayers, okay? Yeah. Yeah, everyone. Uh, Helen could use a <coughs> use a little old prayer party here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so check that out, and um, also in, I think next week, or the week after, I forget, um, the new silk colors, 10 new silk colors. If you like bold colors, you're going to see them in the new silk release with some pinks and blues. <coughs> and we're gonna, yeah, we're going to go because Bill's like having a coughing fit. Okay, so um, yeah, check those out. Dixie Bell's doing um, almost nightly releases of the new colors, so we'll have those um, very soon for y'all. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.